<laughs> All right, I'm just throwing this video out. Radio watches about the five C's. Um, I need to know as soon as possible what you want to do. I mean, not what you want to do, what you want to see me do. Do you want to watch me build the whole thing from beginning to end? Do you want me to film it, then edit it, or stop the cam, do what I have to do, and start the cam back up? So you have those choices. And here's the video, letting you know what's going on with the five C's. So hey, enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and whatever. Leave a comment below, please. Let me know what you want to do, uh, what you want me to do. Uh, do you want me to edit the video? Do you want me to cut, turn off the camera, build what I have to build, and restart the camera? Or do you, you want me to just do the whole thing and you can watch the whole video? Alright, let me know. You get, remember, you can always fast forward yourself, but you as my subscriber will make it easy for you, so let me know what you'd like to see. Alright, here's the video. here ready to do my five C's here is my situation first what is the five C's five C's is based on the five capabilities to survive in the woods uh, I've told everybody I'm going to make the five C's look up look at me I'm right here not down there I told everybody I'm going to be making the five C's with this that's it here's my rules i cannot use any type of man made object rule number two the situation or the uh the reason why or my challenge this is my challenge to myself to challenge myself to make the five c's with just my mitts but I am going to use man-made stuff at the end. Let's say, for example, uh, certain things I cannot do because I'm trying to replicate things of nature, but I cannot do it because I need certain material. For example, I want to build a shelter with deer skin. I don't have 50 deer, deer skin, so I have to replace it with tarps. I'll pretend this is a deer skin that I have created. I'll tell you the process to show you that, hey, he knows what he's talking about. Let's go on. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm not trying to tell you I know everything. I'm just trying to say how much what I know and make the five C's just using my mitts. That's it, my hands, it. Now, another sample, my knives. I'm going to show you how to make a knife at the end using man-made stuff. But first, I'm going to show you Stone Age ways of making a knife. Then I'm going to go on with different types of knives that you can make if you can find the material. And I want to show you how to make the five C's, covered, rope, cup, knife, combustion. Just using my mitts. So please enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to take some time. Um, so you have to bear with the time. I might edit, try to edit the most as I can, edit where the parts I'm not talking, and just push forward because these videos might be long as hell. So let's get started. My scenario. All right, first, my scenario. Let's talk about that. The scenario of the five C's of why I'm doing it or why is the challenge. The challenge for me, I'm a Native American. My tribe uh, in having a civil war with other tribes. So I ran away from my tribe to be a lone wolf. And believe it or not, I do have an Indian name. I don't know how to speak the Indian name, but it's called Running Bear. I remember when I was 10 years old, uh, I was given an Indian name called Running Bear. 
So me as running bear, you'll see me try to make, imitate, and reproduce things I need to survive. The first thing, and another thing about this, this, this challenge, is a little challenge for you. Now, I want you to be honest. I don't want you to go forward. But I want you, when I ask you a question, I want you to stop the game, stop the video, and answer it with your best to your knowledge, while cheating, while going for it, what you think, or what shall I be doing? Just write down there, oh, Reggie Cookie, it's going to be this. For a sample, since I ran away from my tribe, because I don't want to be in a civil war, what is the first thing I ran here? This is my new home. Take a look. Now, I choose this as my new home for now until the Civil War is over with. The Civil War is a bunch of people trying to kill one another over territory or anything in that situation. This is, this is a Civil War and I left. I don't want to be part of that Civil War. I don't want to fight my brothers and sisters on the other tribe. So I left. That's how civil wars are. Mothers against mothers, brothers against fathers, blah, blah, blah. If you don't know what a civil war is, go look it up. <laughs> civil war. So my tribe is in a civil war. I ran. This is my, I believe, would be a perfect shelter. The beginning, my, per my shelter. But here's the question. My shelter, my home, my everything right here. So, as me running away from my tribe, I have nothing but my mitts and what I got on, what is the first thing I should do? Boom, 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 boom. This is when you stop the video. Type in your answer and play the video. Boom, 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 boom. The first important thing to do is build a shelter. Not go find water, build a shelter. This shelter is more important. I just left this 12 o'clock. That means I got five hours to build the shelter. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do in my video of the five C's, is build my shelter. Then after I built my shelter and established that, then I will start making the other parts I need. Knife, cordage, tools, um, basically all those things I'm gonna be building. I'm gonna try to make it from scratch, Using these two stumps. Look at the two stumps. Look at them. Look right there. Using these two stumps and the material I have here. Now I can go. Here's the rules for it. Here's the second rule. I can go do trading. That means or go find my product I need. I know I can't find everything I need in here. So I have to go off to find trades i must trade this for this or might go out myself and find these items for example i have found a few items that the natives used back in the day let's take a look at it i have seashells natives use shells for almost everything piling uh tools to pile to make gardens Knives, so here's my shells. I'm not gonna make them all brand new. Razor sharp, cut myself maybe. Here's the other item that I can use is bone. Bone can be used as fishing tools, knives, cutting edges. So I'm gonna be making all these tools out of scrap. Here's another bag of bones. This is basically, uh, when I change into a werewolf and I eat a couple of humans, I like to keep the, uh, the ribs. That's the rib bones of an animal, human that is. <laughs> and I got some more shells, a little bigger than the rest. So I'm gonna try to make everything from scratch. Shells is my knife, cutting tools, whatever I need. So, bear with me. But, my first priority is build shelter and fire. I do believe. A knife can come later, but depends on what I left with. I left with these. 
But I went out and did some trading with, with people. Me trade this for that. Me trade this for that. Or me find myself. There was a bone over here. Uh, last trail I went through, and I found some bones out here. But remember, I cannot use any man-made stuff. Had to be natural. But I'm going to make man-made stuff at the end. Well, let's do this man stuff or goodies or stuff that man made. All right, let's get started. All right, this is just a sum up. Uh, I choose this place as my home. Here's that first bone animal. I could have killed this animal or whatever and got the parts off of it. And this is the spirit. Oh, yes, the spirit of the animal. So I want to hang this up because this is part of the spirit of the animal. I want to hang it up where I'll have good hunting with the spirit. All right, let's find a good spot. Now, every tribe was different. They didn't all hang up the, their skeleton head of their kill. But a lot of people, or uh, a lot of natives believe in different things, different cultures. Remember, every culture is different. Depends on where you at. Is what materials you're gonna find. If I said right now, where I'm at right now, I'd be kind of screwed. That means I had to travel almost 100 miles just to get seashells. Or Lake Punch Train, which is about a long travel from here to there. But just to show you, I want got some collections of that items I need to start this shelter. But right now, I need to... Uh, so I'm going to stop it, pause it, because you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be building a shelter. So you really don't need to watch all that unless you want to. Uh, let's do a sum up video. And let you tell me what you want to do. You want me to watch? You want to watch me build the stuff and be a long ass video with nonstop, maybe some editing, or you want me to just go ahead and cut it and make the shelter. There is my rules. Y'all can follow along, play along. Uh, you don't have to. It's just something fun for y'all to do. When I ask a simple question, I'll stop. I will tell you do do do, and answer the question if you like. Um. Right now it's kind of hot, so <laughs> this is just a warm-up video, just to let you know what's going on. Let me know what you want me to do. You want me to make the whole full video of me building the shelter in this area, or just cut and paste, or just stop the camera and and uh, do the shelter and, and come back. All right, let me know. I'm gonna let you go. I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is my new home. <laughs> right on, new home. Look at it. Wee. Let's take a look around real quick before I end this one video. And this is my home. Remember, it's man-made. I can't use it. Any type of man-made stuff, I cannot use. All right. You know the rules. You know the fun of the game. Play along. It's free to do. Whoa!